Hi, this is Laura Jansen, and this is the story behind Modern Love Never Stood a Chance. So you wish me down the well, it's gone. So this is actually the first song that Ed and I wrote, but we wrote it prior to me changing my life and quitting music for a very long time. So we wrote this thinking it was going to be the beginning of an album that never happened. We wrote this when he was still working in his studio in London. I was going through my 7,000th breakup and um, Ed was like, yeah, yeah, okay, feelings, girl feelings, let's go. We started with this idea of like Burt Bacharach and Carole King and um, just this very lush, orchestrated 70s love songs that are um, sort of like film noir but in music. And we were talking about my love life and I was just sort of giving up on everything to do with modern love. So things that I feel like I'm a very old fashioned human being and I think with the, with the dawn of online dating and access to every bit of information we can find about each other, we're always kind of looking on the horizon for the next best thing. It's also the same as like the way I've, I've lived my life. I'm always going around and doing new adventures and finding new places to go, but the hardest thing for me is to be home. And it's the same with relationships, you know, it's the hardest thing to be in the arena of a relationship and really stay and really put in the work. You know, the idea of being ghosted by somebody is a very modern idea to a really awful thing. Like just like being with someone or having having intimacy with someone or sharing feelings to, together and then that person just disappears. That's That raised all kinds of questions for me. And I was touring a lot and trying to have this relationship and. It just texting and Skyping and it just is so exhausting and so unfulfilling and I kind of gave up and Ed was like, yeah, yeah, okay, let's write a song about it. And I think it's really a classic melody. I don't know, there's something really old fashioned about it. Ed's wife came in and did this, did this violin part. We had a, um, a flugelhorn player come in from London uh, who's also a boxer, so that's like cool. And he was just this really tough guy. <laughs> and he did this gorgeous solo at the end, which just kept going. And that's not a typical pop song kind of thing to end a song with a solo, but it just kind of goes off into the into the horizon. The song sort of keeps going, and, and uh, it's a really fun song to play too. I never feel sad when I play this song.